It was a wonderful scene on Tuesday afternoon, um, downtown Cleveland, with the installation of uh, Bishop Perez as our new bishop. And just seeing all of the hundreds of priests that were there, over 50 bishops, the choirs, the music, everything was so joyful and so beautiful. And you just see what Jesus had in mind. That's what I was thinking as I observed all this, that he saw 2,000 years ago what the church would be like today. And I was thinking how pleased he must be in heaven to see that the community of our diocese, all the religious women and men, and all the priests and bishops coming together to celebrate the Mass, to align ourselves with another shepherd of our diocese, who is our chief pastor. How pleased he must be to see this all coming to be. Sometimes we tend to look at all the things that are going wrong with the church, or all the things that are the people that aren't coming to church anymore, but it's good for us just to gather an occasion like that to see how much devotion there is to the church that Jesus founded. And to be a part of that is such a wonderful thing. I was thinking, Jesus said to all those priests, he said to the apostles what he said to each one of us when he planted the seed of our vocations in our mind, that you will now become fishers of men. This parable isn't about fish or boating or fishing. It's about Jesus calling his disciples to be the leaders of his church. And I was thinking just from coming to St. Patrick's and then the last 42 years, really, that how many people have I anointed and helped to get to heaven? I was seeing the Mass tonight for Frank Cordell and his families here. He was one of the first ones um, whose funeral I celebrated. And I just um, think of all the people. There have been a couple hundred funerals here since I came. And just that, besides the baptisms and the weddings and um, the confirmations and First Communions and all those things that are so wonderful and the sacrament of penance, um, the work that Jesus had in mind is being done. And it's being done through the priesthood and all the sacraments. And his call to be fishers of people is a call that every baptized Christian has, really, too. We're all called to draw more people to Christ, to become closer to him. And we do it by the witness of our faith. Um, so today would be a good time for us to pray for um, those whom the Lord is calling to serve as priests, deacons, and religious in his church, um, that he strengthen the ones that have accepted the call um, to, to minister well, um, and that all the people of the church may truly be a sign of his love and his presence. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions.